I think part of the problem is a crisis of knowledge. Um, people don't value religious knowledge anymore. In the Islamic tradition, knowledge is of central importance. The Prophet said, uh, there's some weakness in that. Seek knowledge even the China. Or that the acquisition of knowledge is an obligation upon every Muslim, male and female. Um, so Muslims place uh, um, teaching licenses, pedigree, uh, on, on a pedestal. Um, you know, it's interesting, there's a story in the Synoptic Gospels where um, some Pharisees come to Jesus and they say to him, under whose authority do you do these things, right? So they want to know who's your rabbi, right? So who, who did you study under? Who do you think you are? So, uh, of course, Jesus didn't study with anyone because God reveals to him the truth, and that's what Muslims and Christians believe. But Jesus' answer is a bit evasive, and he says, well, John the Baptist, was he a prophet or not? They say, well, I don't, I don't, we don't know. And so he said, I'm not going to tell you under whose authority we do these things. So what they want to know is who is his rabbi. And one of the interesting things about Judaism is that the, the oral law was meant to be oral. So Orthodox Jews believe that two Torahs were revealed to Moses on Sinai, the Pentateuch, or the Chumash, the five books of Moses, but then also the oral law that was given to Moses that was not meant to be written down. So a way that you can check the pedigree of a so-called rabbi is not him simply spouting off verses from the written Torah. Anyone can memorize anything, right? You can get anyone to memorize anything. Is do you know the commentary of so-and-so rabbi on that verse? Do you know what this rabbi says about that or that rabbi? What does the oral law say that you can only get through teaching license, through sitting with masters as a way of sort of uh, checking one's uh, true scholarship? Uh, so that's really important, um, you know, Extremists, they, they know what, a te one of my teachers said, extremists, they know what a text says, but they don't know why it says it, or how to apply the text, right? And that's um, extremely important uh, in order to have a, a, a well-grounded understanding of the tradition itself. Um, so knowledge is of, is of central importance, I would say that.